big news in Forza Horizon 3, baby. This has to do with game completion, and this is probably a question I was asked more than anything else when it came to things that we won from Forzathon events that we have not had a second opportunity to obtain or win or just get through these Forzathon challenges. So me personally, I already have these, but most people, this had to be like nine months ago where we originally got barn find number 19 and 20 through Forzathon challenges and through Forzathon events. So you can see the two challenges here. The first one is kangaroo skills. So when it comes around to this challenge getting here, I figured I'd show you what you need to do way ahead of time so you know exactly what's going on. And we covered this recently as well. Just go to the left of the Outback Festival, get into a skills boost car, and kangaroo skills are a ton of fun at the Pink Lakes. A lot of people love this spot, and I still love it. I think it's way better than any other spot that I showed in the past. So you can get in any car you want for these challenges. Keep that in mind. It really doesn't matter. And keep in mind, this is also not until March. March and April of 2018, and I think by the time that these challenges actually get here and that we can complete them, It'll be a full year since the first opportunity we had to unlock barn find number 19 and 20, so that's actually pretty crazy, but for these kangaroo skills, basically just get rapid air skills. So we're talking, I think it is three air skills. I never really count for sure, but it's definitely not two, and I don't think it's four, so we're going to go with three. Three air skills, but at the pink, pink lakes, just keep driving around. You're going to keep hopping around literally like a kangaroo. Hence why it's called kangaroo skill, and as you can see here, I even just stopped driving. I literally stopped driving. The skills cannot even keep up with me because of how rapidly you're getting all kinds of different skills. Not just kangaroo, but these are great for building huge skill chains and perfect for getting the kangaroo skills done out here at the Pink Lake. So that's going to take care of that challenge now. The other challenge is actually a little bit trickier. It's lucky escape skills. Now I have covered these before. It's nothing new to me, but I'm sure it's new to some other people, so we're going to cover them in detail. Now, if you go to Surfer's Paradise, this is probably my favorite area to do these because I like to... Well, let me explain what you need to do first. You need to get a Drift skill, which is why we're going to be in a Drift, drift Boost Horizon Edition car, if you have at least, not required. But I show a few different Horizon Edition Drift Skills Boost cars here just to show you what I'm talking about. You get a lot more... For the skills 2200 versus 1100 and they're just more fun to use in my opinion i use my supra here my bmw my corvette which i haven't driven in forever and basically you just need a drift skill and pretty much simultaneously a near miss skill as you can see and keep in mind though i'm sure a question that i'm gonna get drift skills or e-drift skills they both work so you can use your handbrake to perform the drifts it really doesn't matter and they don't have to be pretty, they don't have to be clean, as long as you... S also, another thing, so I don't forget, as long as you see that skill pop up, the lucky escape skill, you can crash afterwards, it still should count towards your progress for the Forzathon challenge. Now, to be safe, you know, try not to crash, but you certainly don't have to bank the skill like sometimes you might think you would, so... The two barn find cards, the one is the AMC Pacer X. Now... At first, I honestly didn't really like this car. I mean, it looks like such a weird car, and it is very unique. It kind of looks very rounded, and kind of looks like some type of bug, I guess you can say, but I actually came to like this thing. This is mine customized. I have it at the top of the B-Class, which I'm pretty sure I just upgraded it. I didn't really tune it or build it or make it anything amazing, but it's a fun little car to drive. It's a really cool car. I liked it in this blue. And the interior is pretty cool, figured I'd show that real quick. Then I'm going to show you me just driving the car, and I'm also going to show you the barn find location where I found it. Now, obviously the first 18 barn finds in Forza Horizon 3 were not through Forzathon events. They just kind of came along throughout the game. The game started with 15 barn finds. Man, this is a trip down memory lane here, just talking about barn finds in this game and everything. So, this is a lot of fun for me to cover this, but... The original 15 barn finds were just unlocked by playing the game, and then they added a 16th, 17th, and 18th, which, again, same thing. Once they had updates in the game, they would add them in, and then you could just go find the barn finds once they would pop up, and they would actually pop as legendary barn finds. I think that these Forzathon exclusive ones did the same thing, which is kind of 
interesting, and at first I was like, why are they legendary? They're nothing, you know, better than what the other ones were or anything like that, but the other thing I'm kind of curious to know is someone like me that has both barn finds already, how's that going to work with the Forzathon challenge? Now, the challenges, I believe you can win, like, credits and the barn find, so I'm thinking people who already have the barn find, they're not going to get, like, another barn find. I don't think it would work like that, but you will get the credits. I think that's why there's two rewards, which that's kind of interesting because I've never seen anything like that before where there's something that you can't really win a second time. It's not just like a car, and I highly doubt they're just going to give you like a second AMC Pacer X or anything like that, but this car is pretty cool. I mean, if you upgrade this thing fully, it's very fast. I mean, don't take this gameplay as like, wow, that thing's slow. Like, it can be a lot faster for sure, but just to show you where I actually personally found this barn find, which, as far as I know, 19 and 20 should be in the same spot. I know the first 18 could be kind of random because they were not through Forzathon, and people who didn't get the first 15 could have got 16, 17, and 18 kind of randomly before the original 15, but that's exactly where I found the AMC Pacer X, and the other reason that I actually wanted to show you this, what I'm showing you right now, because obviously you can probably follow that route that I showed on the screen, but it's really cool because I end up accidentally, I wasn't even like trying to do this, but I'm sure some of you, some of you might not even know this. I always try and talk down to beginner levels because I know there's people that pick up this game every single day, but there's this thing called co convoy mode. And if you beep your horn at the drive guitars, which is like the AI that drives around in the game, They'll actually beep their horns back at you and then start kind of cruising around with you, which is really cool, especially for people who don't have online. You can kind of just go and, you know, cruise around with single player cars, which it kind of makes you feel like you're playing with people a little bit, which I think it's a really cool feature. But the cars here on the highway, it's kind of just like real life. They just literally start braking and going slower for absolutely no reason. So I just beeped my horn. I was just like, really? Why are you stopping? Why are you making me break pretty much? Literally reminds me of driving in real life, but after I did that, they followed me in convoy mode because that's just what happens. I wasn't trying to do that. It wasn't my intention, but I found out that if you kind of mark a location on the map, the people that are with you in the convoy mode, they're literally going to go right to that location. So since I marked the barn find, it was pretty cool. The whole gang actually went over to the barn find, so... That was something new I learned. I guess there's always something new to learn about these games, but I thought that was pretty cool. This is exactly where you're going to find, or hopefully should find, the AMC Pacer X. But the other car, I'll be honest, I personally don't really care for this thing. I didn't upgrade it or customize it at all, but it's the Porsche 356A Speedster. So I believe this was barn find number 20. This was the final one. The very last barn finds in Forza Horizon 3, and I mean, what can I say? It's a old classic Porsche. Me personally, don't care. I know there's people out there that will, so... I mean, keep in mind also the main thing, though. You need these two barn finds for 100% game completion, so... That was the one thing, and this was the reason I knew for sure eventually they had to add them again. I mean, how could they not give people a chance to get 100% game completion? That would be ridiculous, so... Same thing here, I just show you where it is, and both are super close to the Outback Festival. So you can see the barn here, I just drive to it real quick, and then I race this thing, and once again I show you what happens with that convoy mode though, so that is pretty much it though. I mean, we went over the Lucky Escape skills, we went over the Kangaroo skills, I showed you the two barn finds, 19 and 20, and the dates, March 30th through April 6th is when you're going to be able to win. The two barn finds that have been gone for like almost a year. That will be a year, I'm pretty sure, like I said, once we get to these dates. So, uh, the second I found out about this, needed to cover this because I want everyone to be aware ahead of time and kind of be able to rem remember, obviously, when we get closer, I will make videos about it as well. But I really hope that everyone found this video to be helpful or useful and that this made you aware of barn find 19 and 20 that I'm sure a lot of people have been missing, especially if you got the game any time after that Forzathon event where you could get these barns. So it's the only way to get it. They are Forzathon exclusive and they are connected to game completion. So if you care about that, make sure you do not miss this. But as always, thanks for watching. Thanks for being here. 
Let me know what you think about how they're finally adding this in. And I gotta say though, I still love Forza Horizon 3, so that's why I'm still probably playing this almost more than anything else. Need for Speed Payback is fun, but I don't know, playing this game, it just, it's a lot of fun still. So I hope everyone enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Peace. 400 yards, bear right.